As the tariff talks between the U.S. and Mexico heat up, Mexico's president, Andres Manuel López Obrador, is preparing for a rally in Tijuana. He will speak to residents and governors from across the country tomorrow, calling for everyone to stand together. News 8's Brandon Lewis is in Otay Mesa tonight with what López Obrador had to say about the proposed tariffs. Brandon? Well, he continues to speak in strong opposition to the proposed tariffs. He's calling on Mexicans from all walks of life to come to Tijuana to rally against the proposed tariffs. But he went to great lengths today to say that this rally is not in opposition to the United States or American citizens. Vamos. We will unite to defend the dignity of Mexico, our country, and at the same time to maintain friendship with the people of the United States. President Andres Manuel López Obrador says he wants Mexicans to come together Saturday in the wake of the U.S.'s plans for tariffs. He's hosting a rally in Tijuana, inviting governors from the country's 31 states and Mexico City to attend. At the same time, we want to maintain dialogue, good relations with the government of the United States. We do not want to fight with the government of the U.S., much less the people of the U.S. We want to maintain a very good friendship. We are close neighbors, not distant neighbors. Mexican officials are still in Washington negotiating a deal to avoid tariffs that are due to start Monday. It's still Friday, and there is dialogue and an agreement can be reached. I am optimistic that an agreement will be reached. Mexico is America's top trading partner ahead of Canada and China. Last year, the U.S. imported $372 billion in goods from Mexico, including $93 billion in cars and auto parts, and more than $13 billion worth of fruit vegetables and nuts. The U.S. is demanding Mexico stem the flow of migrants from Central America heading for the American border. In response, Mexico sent 6,000 troops to its southern border. López Obrador said, however, it's not an issue that would be solved by force. We have insisted that we must address the causes, that we must support the Central American countries to have productive activities, employment, that there is well-being, that migration is optional, not forced. He was later asked about President Donald Trump's claim that Mexico needs the U.S., not the other way around, to which he responded with, I own my silence. The rally is scheduled to take place tomorrow afternoon, and we will be in Tijuana with our coverage starting tomorrow at CBS News 8 at 5. We'll send things back to you.